world of YouTube, true crime is terrible sight. Took a wrong turn in Albuquerque. And I seen a sign, the Berlin Clinton Reservation Trails. Now, hmm. strangely enough, I don't know, man, I've just, nothing like coming upon something, stumbling, trails are reopened, they said here, <clears throat> this is, uh, I gotta put in the name of the street in the description box, but, um, looks very nice out here. Of course, we have a brook here, and other things that are very interesting I'm about the wonder. Like I say, when stuff pulls me along, you jerk! A freaking video got shut off. I gotta remember not to touch the damn screen when I'm doing a video. I gotta get me a selfie stick so I can hold it away from my freaking hands. But not only are these trails, reservations, um, also we have, in, I don't know, 40 caves. And that right there, let alone, leads me to believe that, <clears throat> yes, this was Native American woods, wouldn't be surprised. Of course, Clinton ain't too far from Lancaster with the Bloodtown Forest. So I can just imagine what went through on in these woods back in the day. Any trails throughout any woods are Native American trails. And there's some freaking railroad tracks. Ha ha! Wow, folks. That's very interesting to me also. But just imagine where these... Now I'm really curious of this place. I have to come out over here one day and walk. Now the question is if this must be the tracks I went to the Clinton Bridge. Shut down, folks. Huh. I'm about to wonder when they're going to make this a rail trail. Very freaking interesting. Of course, there's Clinton Bridge. Found out that the damn tunnel that was built, a grave was moved. And when I first started looking that up, it did not say that in previous articles. And then I stumbled upon looking it up again, and there you go. More stuff that was never mention that comes out later on. <clears throat> ah, I got a good gut feeling in this area. Of course, you don't know what could have happened on these tracks years ago, like I say. The hobos back in the day traveling trains, getting off in spots unknown. Of course, I got some other stories coming up about another serial killer that was undetected. And, um, Sean Hermes uh, mentioned that to me, so I'm looking into that case. And what a freaking, what a case, man, of, you know, a killer being turned in or being known and yet the guy never got caught well up into his 70s yeah that's right it, what a sick demented story <clears throat> i don't know something friggin stopped me here so seeing that 40 caves i can just imagine where them are at 40 caves huh there is a bunch of caves out here, and for damn sure Native Americans use that for hiding and stuff when under attack or hiding to attack. 
a very interesting set of woods here. And as I can see, the waters that run through here, Native American land. I thought I'd share that. If anybody is local and want to come walk through this, seems to be a nice place. Well, I don't know where the other trail goes, so <laughs> they know the trail across the tracks. You gotta go around this different ways, I guess. I got a map up there, and I'm gonna put that in the thumbnail. But well, one half of the side ain't too good because the sun's shining off it, but check it out. Come back here during another time and see what I find. Hell, I might even do some ghost hunting. So I got a vibe in these woods. Out. Well, be safe, take care, and always believe. I'm sure I'll catch something nice out here. Out.